What's up everybody? My name is Shadow Phoenix. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some Planet Coaster. We are here today in my Crystal Gardens Park, the park I've been working on for about a year now. A little more than a year. I'm pretty sure I started this last September, like mid-September I think is when I actually started the park. Uh, and here it is, um, October, almost middle of the month, and it's, it's getting there. It's almost done. I hope to try to have everything finished by next month uh probably about the middle of the month to end of the month i was hoping for an early november right around my birthday but it's not going to happen unfortunately so what are we doing today well i've been putting this project off for a little bit and it's kind of a good thing i did because this actually worked out really really well um as many of you know who have been keeping track of this series i made a haunted house in like a haunted mansion in the park and I never actually finished the interior. All I did was the exterior of it. And I always meant to go back and, and do the inside of it and do the actual ride and make that kind of like really cool. But I never did get around to that. I, I kind of just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And well, what better time to do it than October, just in time for Halloween. Um, those of you who know me and, you know, if you haven't watched any of my other videos and stuff like that, then, uh, you know, I, Halloween is my favorite holiday. I love it. Uh, I love this time of year, October, the fall, uh, the the orange trees, the leaves. You know this. You know, I, I love all of this kind of stuff. Pumpkins, not pumpkin spice necessarily, though I do like a pumpkin roll. But uh, yeah, okay. So anyway, let's talk about what we're doing. So this is going to be a multi episode series here with this particular building and this particular ride. Uh, it's going to take place for the entire month, and I'm going to try to get it done right around Halloween. I know Frontier is going to do like a special for Halloween, um, and they're going to be showing off like, I guess, haunted rides and things like that. So I'm going, to <laughs> and this is going to be kind of funny, I'm going to enter this into their, uh, their Halloween special if I can. Whether or not they show it, I'll, I will be surprised if they do. Because, I mean, this is going to be a really, really cool ride that is worthy of them showing. But as you guys know, if you keep track of any of my, my videos and stuff, you know that I'm not exactly liked by Frontier or most of the community. And I'm okay with that. But I'm still going to enter it in anyway, just to see what happens. Because I think it's worthy. So, you know, if they, they don't pick this for their, their Halloween episode, well, then screw them but anyway um this is going to be by far one of the one of the coolest things i've done uh i i looked over this when i finished up with this building you know and not just the outside of it but when i finished up with this room i should say and i was like i, I was amazed at how well it turned out like i was kind of second guessing myself through most all of this entire build and once I got finished with it and we got all the lighting and stuff done, it just looks amazing. And you guys will see this once we get to the end of the video. I will do a little like showcase of the room. Um, but we're only gonna do like one room today in this episode today. Uh, let me grab something to drink. My I've got a sore throat from being up and, and stuff for so long. But anyway, so what I'm doing right now is I'm placing these walls down and this is something I worked on for two or three days trying to find the right um, kind of look and feel to this room that I wanted. This is going to be the, the entry parlor. This is where, you know, you go through the queue line and then once you get, you know, through the queue line and you start to get on the cars, you're going to be in this room here, the loading bay, uh, the station, so to speak. And you're going to, you know, spend a, a little bit of time in this room kind of waiting. And I wanted it to kind of look pretty cool as an entry point, and uh, we'll, we'll call it the parlor. So here in the parlor, I wanted to kind of give it a little bit of the same feel that the outside of the, the mansion has. Uh, so that's why we went ahead and used these stone walls with the same colors from the outside. Um, but I also wanted to kind of give it, I really like that wallpaper. And, you know, the blue is also nice, and then there's another one, like a red. But since the walls were kind of a reddish color, I didn't want to use the, the red and maroon looking wallpaper. And the blue just didn't feel right. I like the blue a lot, but it just didn't feel right here. So we'll probably end up using it somewhere else in the mansion. But for these, um, I come up with the idea to use these stone arches so that way it looks like it's a solid room, like a good solid foundation with the stone, but we also have the arches where we're gonna put the wallpaper and stuff in there. We'll probably throw some uh, 
maybe some shelves and maybe some pictures or something onto the walls there in between those. Uh, we're going to do the pillars, and the pillars were kind of uh, something I came up with as well that ended up looking really, really cool too. Uh, thanks to the vintage pack, we, we got those really cool Baroque pillows, and that's Baroque, B-A-R-O-Q-U-E, not B-R-O-K-E. They, they're not out of money, although they don't even have any money, so I guess they could be broke. But they're not broken. But it, okay, anyway, <laughs> um, here I go rambling. I've got a lot of video to kind of go through, so you know, just bear with me, guys, as we talk about kind of what we're doing. So for this section, once I got done and, and placing these uh, these arches over here on this side, so this is going to be where you're going to come in, right there, or exit. I'm probably going to have to make it the entryway because we only have enough space on this side over here to make the the queue line. And it's going to have a short queue line too. That's what something else I was kind of concerned about is I really wanted a larger queue line and I just could not get it in there. So we're going to have to go with what we got. Um, but, you know, so I was placing these and I, I didn't like how they fit together. So I ended up taking the middle two arches, the, the large arches, and putting them together. And then from there, kind of it gave me a little bit of space to work with so I was able to space them apart and put those pillars in there very much like we have on the sidewalls and then of course here you see me I will copy the you know wall from the one side and put it over here and then we're gonna make uh, I thought it was easier just to grab this whole thing and just delete that than it was to you know just m try to grab every piece of the, the pillars and then move them over it was just easier to do that <laughs> All right, so this section here, um, you're seeing me place these doors right up above the where you're going to enter into the Haunted Mansion there. And the reason I want that is because I'm going to have the cars go through and eventually they're going to come out onto a balcony right above the area there. But I ran into a slight problem right here. Um, I had an issue where the roof was in the way. So I had to go back and rethink the roof a little bit. And so before everything is done, I'll have to finish that off as well. But... Um, so I just ended up deleting it for now. I looked at it. I spent a good like 15 minutes, I think, looking around at that roof. And finally I was like, eh, you know, we'll just deal with it later. So let's just get the interior done. So uh, I ended up putting the the doors up there. And then now, of course, you're going to go through this these giant arches. And then you're going to go into another little kind of room here. And this is uh, where the actual entry into it is going to be. So it's the doorway into the actual haunted house. So the story behind this, I actually don't have it fully developed yet. So a lot of people have asked me, like, you know, why do you build backwards? Why do you, like, do roofs instead of, you know, walls first? And because a lot of times you'll notice in my builds, I will build a roof and then I'll add the walls to the roof. So I build, like, from the top down instead of the bottom up. It's I don't always do it, but it's kind of funny because people always ask me, what? You're, that's so weird. Why do you do it that way? I don't know. I just do it. Um, it just seems to work better for me, but just like that, here I am, I'm building a dark ride, and then I'm going to develop the story afterwards, so completely backwards once again, and uh, I don't know, I find it funny, but uh, so the story is that I've got worked out so far for it is, uh, we're going to call this the Bell Mansion, and it is formerly owned by Louis Bell, and Louis Bell was a bit of a uh, an eccentric. He liked to collect relics, supernatural relics and things like that. And he filled his, his home with these supernatural relics. And the rest of the story is kind of based around the fact that at midnight, every night, um, once the clock strikes midnight, all of the ghosts and stuff kind of come to like a masquerade party kind of thing and they enter the house and then they have their party until eh, we'll, we'll say like dawn or whatever. So basically you're going on a tour of the house and in this tour of the house, you know, you're, you'll be warned that, you know, don't stay after midnight. Of course, wouldn't you know, as luck would have it, your tour is the last tour of the night and it just happens to be midnight right before you get through there so that's when kind of uh i'm not gonna say all heck breaks loose but um that's when the fun begins we'll call it um because it's not gonna be i'm gonna try not to make it i'm gonna make it more of a fun 
kind of haunted house. A little bit like Disney's Haunted Mansion, that kind of fun kind of thing, instead of more of a grotesque kind of thing. So I want it to be a little bit of a mystery, a little bit of a, you know, just a fun haunted house. Um, so I ended up, when I was working around with this, I realized when I was placing these pillars to make the second floor, I noticed I'm not going to have enough room. It's going to stick out the top. So what we ended up having to do here was sink every single bit of this down. Uh, so I cut that part out of the video because, you know, you, you guys don't need to see me do that. So I just completely cut all of that out. Uh, and I ended up doing it again, too, because I realized that I didn't sink it enough. And I still think I'm actually going to end up going back and sinking it one more time down into, like, another layer. But uh, I did that so I could get the pillars and stuff kind of up there to make the second floor and to get these doors and stuff just right and to get, you know, this a second story kind of in here. Um, and you'll see me now, right now I'm doing the balcony. So I place these kind of ledges over there. And as I'm looking at it, I'm realizing, um, huh, that's not quite going to work. So we're going to have to raise this up a little bit because I want the... Uh, those ledges to kind of meet up with the side panels right above the arches there. So we're going to have to work around with that a little bit. And that is when I went in and kind of decided, all right, well, we're going to have to going to have to fix this again. So we end up lowering it once more. Um, and then I'll raise the doors up a little bit and we're trying to get this out. So here you have it. This is where I've actually have now lowered it again. And I'm now kind of raising the track to kind of meet up with that and kind of smoothing it out a little bit and just kind of working with it. Fix that door over there, fix these doors, and there we go. Okay, so now we've kind of got this kind of all together. And I just, uh, instead of doing all the pillars on the other side of the wall, since I never did that, I just take the, the whole wall and just copy it back over to the other side there. Save me a little bit of time. And then I'll move these back a little bit to kind of meet up with the track. And the funny thing is I ended up moving these outward before everything is said and done. Uh, it's not in the video, but um, once I finished recording, I went back and kind of edited a few more little tiny things here and there and fixed some things up to make it just a little bit prettier, add a little bit more details. Of course, we can also, we can always add more details of this. Uh, but currently this park is running at about 15 to 20 FPS, so yeah, it's it's up there. It's over a hundred thousand pieces in this entire park so far, so Now when I lowered everything down a little bit, um, I ended up messing with these So I'm gonna have to put something right above these pillars here to kind of make them work So I toyed around with that for a little bit as you can see and finally ended up going with this direction uh, just one of these square things and then one of the um, the I don't know what you'd call those, but they're, they're really nice looking kind of uh, tops there for the pillars. And that worked really, really well. I was very happy with that. Now, in between our doors here, so the as you can see, the right is going to come through. It's going to come out one of these doors, go around this little section on the balcony, and then go back inside to the haunted house. So in between those, I wanted to put these, uh, these bookshelves. And then we're going to just take these, raise these up, and move these back like so. And just kind of adjust these a little bit. And we'll move this other side over to meet there. Perfect. And then we'll take the uh, those out. We don't need those tops. Though I might end up putting a few of the little pieces back on there. But we'll put these, uh, these bottom panels onto our bookshelves here. And then next up is filling our bookshelf up with books. Oh, and let me tell you, that was, uh, it didn't take me as long as I expected it to. Thank God they actually have a, like a shelf full, of, like a whole line of books. And I didn't know it at the time when I was placing these because I had a game pause. But these are actually animated, which worked out, it worked out so perfect. It's the perfect little effect right there when you come around this. So, I liked it. I, I thought it came out really well. And somebody said I was being really OCD here about the, the placement of these. And I think if I was OCD, then I would have each of them like perfectly lined up. So instead, I was trying to make them purposely not lined up. So reverse OCD, maybe? <laughs> uh, or is it OCD that I'm actually so detailed about that? I don't know. You guys tell me. And then we have our bookshelf finished up there. Um, then next, we're going to put some railings on here. And I was suggested to use the haunted house railings. And... 
I really like these ones out of the vintage, and I don't use them enough, but I really like them, and I thought this would kind of give our a certain different kind of look to our mansion than what you know other people have done. Because I will be honest, I completely looked at the. I went online. I looked at a lot of different haunted houses and stuff that people have done in Planet Coaster. Um, kind of wanted to kind of do something different than what a lot of other people have done and kind of do my own unique thing. So, but I still, you know, I, I got some some good ideas and stuff on some things, and you know, gonna try to alter those a little bit to my own needs and work with that. So here I'm doing the second story here, and I messed around with this for quite a while, and I'm going to actually cut it out, but I tried that, and I just didn't care for it, so I ended up going with this. I thought, let's continue these stone arches up here, and I tried to put the wallpaper and stuff up there, and I was just like, no, that's just, that's not working. Um, so I ended up going with the, the wooden panels. As you can see, I tried all the different wallpaper, and... Uh, just wasn't happy with the wallpaper, but then I came across the the wooden panels here, and I was like, you know what? I got an idea. So I put the wooden panel there, and I kind of put it back, kind of sunk it into the arch a little bit, and then I thought, let's put a banister up here on top, and then we'll put some knights inside of those banisters and kind of work that. And then I realized I'm gonna have to kind of like fix this so it's not. I don't want all three of these to be knights, so I want it to be a little different. So we'll take this. Once we get the knight up there, like so, I ended up having to raise him up a little bit, but uh, you won't be able to see the base once it's actually like, when you're, if you're a guest, you're not gonna see the base of that. So it, it's fine, it worked out fine. So there we go, I put him in there and then I just deleted the banister and deleted the knight in the middle. And I thought, um, let's put some shields up there. Uh, I do wish we could actually like recolor the shields, but since we can't, oh well. It does, does add a little bit of color into there. But once it's dark, like once you go to nighttime and you're looking around on the inside of this, it's you're not really seeing a lot anyway of color. So every the lights kind of give it its own kind of like uh, atmosphere, which works out perfect. And just kind of moving things around. I, I like I'm looking at things and I'm working with my my people in my Twitch channel here and and trying to see what they think. I uh, ended up putting these little pieces down at the bottom, which looked really, really nice. Just a little bit of detail there. Now, some of you may have noticed that uh, on that other side over there, right above that knight, there is a piece of the tower, the middle tower and from the entry, kind of going into that. I'm going to have to work on that and fix it. This is why I'm kind of thinking I may end up lowering all of this just a little bit more and going just a little bit deeper into the ground than what I intended. So probably going to go back and do that before we, we film the next episode of this. And just copying everything I did on the other side, I'm just copying it over here to this side as well. Put the shield and our knights over here as well. Uh, just trying to line things up a little bit. And then right here above this, this, uh, this gateway, and I think I want to go back and kind of maybe work with this a little bit more because I don't feel like uh, that's tall enough. I think I want to raise that a little bit. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. So, but anyway, I messed around with a lot of different pieces here from the spooky pack to try to figure out what I want to do right there above that to hide where those two arches kind of come together at. So I need to work on that a little bit and figure that out. But uh, this, this actually ended up together, but I, I still think I want to just raise that arch right there in the middle just a little bit more and have it maybe, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you get what I'm saying. It, it just seems like a little bit of a tight entry into this, into this other room. Um, at first I thought it was looking fine, but now that I'm going back and I'm looking at this video and I'm watching it, I'm kind of like, I, I think I should fix that. But anyway, what I ended up doing here to cover these up was I put two of these tombstones together as a pedestal, and then I ended up taking the gargoyle and putting him on the pedestal. So he's a bit of an egomaniac. Everybody likes to put him up on a pedestal. Uh, and then I tried my best here to try to grab that tombstone that's behind him, which was such a pain to try to get a hold of, but I finally did. I turned it upside down, moved it over a little bit to cover up the 
you can see the little angles, the sharp edges there, so I covered those up with that, and that worked out really, really well. I'm happy with how that came out. So that's going to stay, but I think I still just want to kind of raise that arch some in, in one way or another. I'll, I'll get on that probably tonight. Alright, so the next part is I'm just kind of thinking, kind of looking around here. I'm like, alright, so I guess we need to work on the back side of it back here and figure that out. So this is where I'm like, alright, let's take this because we're going to do this right here into there. And I've got, I think I'm running about seven to eight trains on this and I didn't want to lessen them. And I ended up putting this in here like that. So this is the same arch that I used on the other side. Once you go through the, through the, uh, the half circle arch, then you'll see this gateway. And that actually goes into the rest of the mansion. And this is where they're gonna be exiting and coming out of the mansion at. So I wanted to have it kind of back here as well. And the whole reason I just copied all of that, all of those pieces over there from that other side is because I didn't want to mess around with the colors. And I just thought, you know what, it's probably just going to be easier to just move these over here like that and just take the pieces I need and move them around. I'm lazy. What can I say? It worked though. Um, all right. And then we'll move these pieces over here and kind of fill in these gaps. And I did have to mess around with this because I realized, okay, this is going to be the exit right here where people are going to be leaving. So I can't have that kind of arch down in there. So I'm going to have to put another piece down at the bottom and I'm going to have to do the same thing on the other side over there too, which I forgot to do when I was recording this, but I will go back and fix that now that I'm remembering it. And so uh, the entry and the exit are both on one side of the loading bay and these other doors and stuff that you're going to see here over here on this other side, um, I'm going to use those. Those are going to be like access to the interior of it for like employees and stuff and staff so um, you know obviously it's not because you know the employees have no reason the staff has no reason to go back into the actual ride but realistically speaking it would have like a safety exit or you know something of that nature so that's kind of what those are going to be and we'll just move these panels around and these walls and stuff and uh, yeah, I, when I was making this section right here on the other side of the wall, I honestly, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just kind of like going with it and I was like, let's, let's see what this looks like. All right, let's see what this looks like. And it, it came together pretty naturally. It, it kind of just flowed and, and worked together. So I was pretty happy with how that came out. I moved the pillars over in the middle to kind of cover up these kind of uh, entryway here and but I also realized that, that this doesn't look right. So we moved these bottom hex bases around a little bit and moved the walls in a little bit closer, make it a little more claustrophobic right there on that. And that worked out pretty well. And I also realized that my track is tilted a little bit and that's why my, my arch is a little off there. So I end up fixing that. Um, you guys don't see it now, but if you was noticing earlier, it was a little bit off. So I'm just going to take these wooden base panels, wooden wall base panels and put them over here on this side and I tried to put like a window or like another big balcony right above the, the exit arch there and I just couldn't find a good way to do it that worked. Um, and I cut a lot of that out of this video where I messed around with that and you guys are just getting the final product here so this is how everything kind of came together. And then I took these and kind of moved them over here. I wasn't sure how that would look at first, but, you know, with the, the arch like that. But it actually worked out well. It, I don't mind it. It kind of looks all right. We'll take those two top pieces off. We'll move these over here. Now, the first thing I tried was putting two of these together. And, of course, it was too tight of a space. And it just didn't really look like or look right, I should say. Um, I kind of liked it, but most of my Twitch audience was like, nah. All right, so we end up just putting one in there, and then I just kind of move these around a little bit, like so, and then we'll put these stone pieces in there like that. And that worked out perfect. And just kind of tweaking a few things there. And of course, the next thing we gotta do now is the, the lighting. So uh, we're gonna put up some, oh no, wait, the floor. So I thought about the floor a little bit here, 
and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I tried a few different things. Um, one of my original designs, I was trying the marble floor, and I just didn't like the marble floor. It just didn't fit. But this, I mean, technically, it's kind of a tar roof, really, if you're thinking about it. But, you know, in Planet Coaster, we're limited on what we have currently. So, until the Theme Maker's Toolkit comes out anyway. And uh, I just kind of wanted to, to try something different. And I really liked how this looked. And it gives like an old kind of stone floor kind of look to it. Almost like an old marble kind of feel. And uh, I, I really liked it. So we'll, we'll say it's marble paneling or something. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm happy with that. So we're going to use that for our base. Um, our guests' feet are probably going to go through it, and I'm uh, perfectly fine with that. It's. I wish there was a way around it, um, but there's not, so yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> um, and then we put the chandeliers right up here. I ended up doing three across, but by the time I've actually finished this off screen, what you guys don't see is I ended up just moving one of those out because we extended the balcony out a little bit more. So Now the lighting here, this was something I come up with um, when I was doing some designs and stuff for this when I was just like experimenting. And I found this really cool idea for a light. Uh, by taking the dragon torch and then putting it on top of the oriental light there. Um, I really liked how this came out and it looks really good. And it gives a little bit more light with there being the torch underneath of the actual light itself. Um, I was just trying to figure out if I wanted to use these or if I wanted to use different ones and use these. These were definitely going to go in the Haunted Mansion. I just didn't know if I wanted to use them at our entry parlor or not. But uh, I ended up going with it. And before anybody else points it out in the video, yes, I know that one right there in the middle is... I, I never went back and fixed it. I'm going to have to go back. But yeah, it's off a little bit. Uh, I didn't place it all the way back in. So I will go back and fix that, I promise. So... No reason to point it out to me. I do see it now. <laughs> Alright, and here we have the lighting and what everything kind of looks like. And as you can see, the glow from those lights looks really, really good. Um, I was kind of doubt... When I was making this, I was second guessing the use of that wallpaper down at the bottom. But once we got the lighting and everything into the middle there, it looks beautiful. I was really, really happy with it. So we're just going to add a little bit... A few more things up here on our balcony on top we're gonna add some tables a little bit of lighting up here some chairs a few other things uh, and then that's gonna be it for this episode and our entry parlor will be done so just a table there and I don't know why these candles are so freaking huge um, cost Planko I guess you know this is basically what every single thing that we get from from Frontier almost nothing is the actual height it should be uh, nothing's in scale, so I decided to just use a lamp there instead. And then we'll put these little lights right here above the bookshelf. And as you can see, it's it's really starting to come together. Everything's starting to give a nice glow. A very haunted glow there. I really like the... It, this is just to come out so good. Alright, and then I moved this uh, this table over here on this side as well. And then I was like, all right, let's put a, uh, there's a little couch or something there. We can, we can put one of those in there, like a little chair. So I moved the chair over here and I was trying to get it in. But I realized when that door opens, it's just going to slam into that chair. And I really didn't care for that. So what I end up doing is I, I move the chair to the other side. And instead of using a little small table, I do a bigger table here in just a second. I'm just kind of adjusting a few things just around a little bit see so we'll put the chair over here on this side and then we're gonna go with a bigger table over here just to get a little bit of uh, um, a little bit of unparalleled I don't know what the word I'm looking for on that is but uh, yeah I just didn't want it to look identical on both sides so we'll go with a big one and this was me just kind of looking through the spooky stuff and like yeah, there's got to be a better candle or something I could have swore there was but there's not we only have the one candle we do have these uh, candelabras though and I thought what would happen if I take these candelabras and sink it into the table huh and I really liked how that looked so I went that route and I think I also placed a, uh, a tiny little skull on the bottom of that too. 
Uh, I set the knights to be stationary instead of uh, animatronic. And there we go. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is the, uh, once you leave, there's going to be the part, the, the section here that tells you the story, a hallway, and a ballroom. And that's what we're going to be working on for the next episode of this. And I hope you guys can join me for that. In the meantime, thanks so much for joining me. Let's take a look at the final product here, shall we? All right, guys, here we are in the park, and let's take a look at the final product that I ended up with after I got done recording. So here we have the outside of the building. I've done some lighting on the outside, as you can see. Uh, gave it kind of an eerie, spooky kind of look. I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. So a little bit of that, a little bit of white, a little bit of blue, some green in there too. Um, tried to do like an eerie kind of, kind of color for it. So we're going to head into our center lobby. I've still got some more lighting to do on the outside of it, but we will definitely get to that. And let's head on in here. Now, none of this part right here I've got finished yet. We are going to kind of fix up our queue line and do some other things to it. Uh, so all of that has to be done. So pay no attention to that, but we will kind of jump through here and we'll go down. I'm skipping most of the queue line. But I want to head on into here and show off the inside of this. This is something that I really, really am happy with. I loved how this came out. I love the lighting. You guys should be able to hear the music as well. Now, yes, there's no roof, so I won't kind of go up too far there. I put a couple lights on top of the knights to kind of light, or underneath the, the knights, I should say, to kind of light those guys up a little bit. Just a little bit of a a, a, a soft light, I should say. And let's go up here to the top. And let's check out this layer up here and see what I've done up here. So I put a little skull here. I put this table here right in the middle. I uh, put the skull there. I put these ravens kind of in there as well. Not sure about the ravens, though. They're they're a little bit loud. So I'm going to try to maybe take... I might take those out because they're, they're kind of annoying. And for some odd reason, the... Uh, that door is not opening on the trigger. I'll have to look into that trigger and find out what's going on with that. But And since the track's not done, that's not working either. But you can see here, one of the things I did was I moved the uh, the track out a little bit and then moved the railings and the balcony out a little bit too. But I'm still thinking that I might not be done yet because what I would like to have is instead of the balcony being above where you come in here. I'd like it to be on the other side. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe putting the balcony on the other side over there is what I'm thinking. So we may rearrange the ride a little bit and then instead of having a balcony on this balcony on this side, we may have the balcony on the other side. So I might change that out. I've still got to think about it, but that's probably something we we're probably going to end up doing. But anyway, I hope you guys really, really like the the entry parlor here. I think it came out really, really well. I, I love the, the lighting, everything to it, and I think it looks really, really good. I think it's deserving of a, you know, the, the atmosphere of a Disney haunted mansion, but still staying kind of cheap to what this park could kind of do. Because obviously this park wouldn't be able to afford a, a Disney haunted mansion but uh yet this is somehow going to kind of turn into that <laughs> so we'll, we'll kind of see what what we can go with um gonna try to go with cheap scares instead of like you know actual stuff but we'll we'll see we'll see how everything turns out like i said it's all still developing as we go because uh, i'm building the story and i'm building the layout and everything from here um but yeah, so there we have it. This is the Haunted Mansion, Bell Mansion, I think is what we're going to call it. Um, and it is here in Crystal Gardens Park. So I hope you guys enjoy this. To stay tuned next week, we will be going over the, uh, the next section of the ride, which will be the ballroom and the, the kind of entry from, so I basically past that door right there is the, going to be the next part. But until then, this is it. This is what we've got. Hope you like it. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I very much appreciate it. 
If you are not already a subscriber here on the channel and you'd like to be, click that button down below to do so and click the bell to be notified the next time a video goes live as I have been doing daily content here on the channel. You can also follow me over on Twitter and I live stream on twitch.tv as well. So if you like the content you see here, you will love the live streaming too. The links for those are in the video description down below. Now, if you are in a position to do so and you would like to support the channel, you can do that through our Patreon page or you can use one of our affiliate links such as Green Man Gaming, Humble Bundle, or Amazon. Any purchase you make by clicking on our links, a little percentage of that goes to me to help towards living expenses as well as making the content better here on the channel. Now, as always, I love to hear from you guys, so make sure you click that like button and leave comments below to let me know your thoughts on the videos. That's gonna do it for me today. Remember guys, wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later.